One day, Lord, I pray, tell me exactly the words to say. Give me strength and maybe then I can reach my fellow men so we all may cry again. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Welcome to Beaumont. Good morning. Good morning, Hi. my friends. I took a long way to church this morning down past the old creek. I heard birds chirping in our own choir warming up in the distance, and I was reminded of our great poet Walt Whitman who once wrote, I hear America singing. And I thought, aren't we the song that we sing? Don't we lift up our voices to tell the world who we are and what we believe? So I ask you this morning, hmm? what song are you singing? We've only been here two days and already Chicago seems a million miles away But we were barely hanging on there Especially with my father gone There's not too many places we could stay But maybe mom can find a job that's steady And maybe I can stand it for a year And maybe things won't be so bad And maybe I won't miss my dad And maybe we can start a new life here But if Walt Whitman were alive today, what song would he hear America singing? When I turn on the television, all I hear is the music of easy sexuality and relaxed work. I hear rock and roll and the endless chant of pornography. And I ask myself, why does our God allow this? We all know God has the power to take all these records and books and turn them into one big fiery tender life. That. <laughs> but he doesn't. And why? Because he is testing us. He is watching to see whether we choose his path. And that is why we must ask ourselves each and every day, have I done the right thing? Have I done the right thing? Picking up my life, packing up the past. That's always frightening. Have I done the right thing? The right thing. The right thing. We strive to do what's right. Parish all the way from Chicago. Uh, Ethel McCormick and her son, um, Ron, is it? Brent, excuse me, speak up. Let the Lord hear your voice. Ren, Ren McCormick. Oh, Ren, now that is a very interesting name. Is that short for something? Nope. There's rumors going round about the new kid, and everybody's talking till they're blue. I invite you to join my wife Vi and my daughter Ariel in this morning's convocation. 